word apartheid is uh, is exactly accurate. You know, this is uh, an, an area that's occupied by two powers. Uh, they are now completely separated. The Palestinians can't even ride on the same roads that the Israelis have created or built in Palestinian territory. Uh, they, they, the Israelis uh, never see a Palestinian except their is Israeli soldiers. The Palestinians never see an Israeli except at a distance, except the Israeli soldiers. So within Palestinian territory, they're absolutely and totally separated, much worse than they were in South Africa, by the way. And the other thing is, the other definition of apartheid is one side dominates the other, and the Israelis completely dominate the life um, of the Palestinian people. Why don't Americans know what you have seen? <laughs> Americans don't want to know. And um, many Israelis don't want to know what um, is going on inside Palestine. It, it's, a, it's a terrible human rights persecution that is far transcends what any outsider would imagine. And there are powerful political forces in America that prevents any objective analysis of the problem in the Holy Land. Uh, I think it's accurate to say that, that not, not a single member of Congress with, which I'm, with whom I'm familiar would possibly speak out and um, call for Israel to withdraw to their legal boundaries or to um, publicize the plight of the Palestinians or even to call publicly and, and repeatedly for good faith peace talks. There had been a day of peace talks now in more than seven years. So this is a, a taboo subject, and, and I would say that if any member of Congress did speak out, as I've just described, they would probably not, not be back into Congress the next term.